guys. So, um, we, I've actually decided that Anthony and I both were going to come to you, um, <laughs> with a video on this fine Sunday night. Um, so we actually are using the light in our kitchen right now. It is not the best lighting. I'm sorry, guys, but it's night. So natural lighting is clearly out of the options for us right now. But, um, we decided that we were going to come to you with like a couple's video on what we've learned so far with us being married. We've actually been married for um, six months now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and everybody's always like, your first year of marriage is your hardest year. So we, I guess we decided we would come to you like halfway to that one year mark and just tell you what we've learned so far. It's actually been easy. You know? Well, we think so anyways, but I don't know. Anyways, um, so the first thing that we've learned is that prayer, prayer, devotion, and worship as a couple is very important. Um, it's important to, well, first off, we're Christian. So we feel like it's important for us to um, go to God as one, as a unit, as yeah just as one I mean it's it's cool that I worship and you know stuff on my own I pray for him pray for you know our son obviously um I have worship on my own I do devotion on my own um he does devotion on his own prayer on his own but we actually this is a little devotional but um we've actually um noticed that things just for us and our relationship just go a lot better when we do um go to God as just one we're just completely open and honest if we're having problems with each other or whatever the case is we legitimately go what well, I well no yeah we legitimately go to God about it and just be like hey just real and raw be like hey this is what's going on Lord real, real and raw this is what's going on Jesus fix it Jesus but <laughs> yeah so that's how I feel about it how do you feel I mean I feel like it's just you just gotta Work it out, you know. Keep everything in his hands and just let it go from there. And he will let it work out from there. Um, the second thing, which is something that we struggle with every day, something that we work on every single Communication. day. Communication. Communication is key because you're not always going to be all lovey-dovey like, oh, this is my man. Like, you're not always going to be all lovey-dovey and feel that lovey-dovey feeling. Sometimes I don't even want to feel like I want to be friends with him. Sometimes he doesn't feel like he wants to even be yeah, friends with me. Especially working on 12 hours. I don't like being all, you know, touchy touchy sometimes. Yeah. Get in my space. Get so, away from me. Like, sometimes it's just like a little block I have. And it kind of ruins our day, but I'm getting better at it. So. Yeah, we're learning that communication is definitely key. Like, if you wake up on the wrong side of the bed in the morning, you need to be let me know, or I'll need to let him know, hey, this is how I'm feeling today. And, and don't let all that great. Uh, work interfere with your home because it can mess it up too. Yeah, that's that. a side note besides communication, but that is a side note. Sorry, yeah. Work. Um, well, I don't have an issue because I'm a stay-at-home mom, but work definitely for him. Sometimes he's just so boggled down and like his, his, his brain is just so haywire with stuff from work or he's so tired from work that he, um, not that he takes it out on us or anything, but it's kind of hard for him to bounce back into that role of being, you know, like a dad and husband and all that good stuff just because he works in a factory. If you guys have ever worked in a factory, you know that is hard work and he works 12 14 hour shifts yeah. so god be with sometimes them sometimes six days sometimes seven days yeah so um but anyways sorry for that little sidebar sidebar guys which i mean i feel like those were good points too but communication is definitely key you have to communicate with your spouse with your partner my problem in the beginning was thinking that he should think the way that i think he should say the things i want him to say he should automatically know what I'm thinking what I'm feeling like he can't always read all of my vibes he can't always read my mind and stuff that I have going on in my mind ways that I might be feeling stuff like that so I have to communicate that stuff with him just like he has to communicate that stuff with me communication is definitely key and he actually would rather not communicate but I think he's I think he's learning yeah I mean if it's well, I'm learning now. At first, I was just, just leave it alone. Hey, we get over it. 
but now it's we can't ever get over it, so we communicate and work things out. Yeah, so if you guys try to do that whole let's sweep it under the rug thing in my relationship, it's, it doesn't work, it doesn't you guys. Work. It resurfaces, it comes back up in some kind of way. So just talk it out in the beginning so that it doesn't keep coming up. So you guys are clear on where you both stand. And oh my goodness, one of the, because I'm bullheaded, he's bullheaded. One of the things that we have learned just recently is that we just have to agree to disagree. Yes. We just have to agree to disagree. Otherwise, you're going to have long, drawn out moments where it's just like, it's, it's, it gets old. So if you guys have to agree to disagree, agree to disagree. Every, he's not always going to see things my way. I'm not always going to see things his way. So meet in the middle. Hey, I respect how you feel. He respects how I feel. And we just leave it as that. Yes. Yeah. Um, b -b 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 point number three, which this is basically on me. Something that I've learned is that I can't always correct him. Even when it comes to like, he's laughing because it's something that I do so regularly. And it's I still work on it every single day because I'm one of those people where I used to, well, I guess I should say I used to be one of those people where it was my way or the highway. Yes. So I would constantly correct him. Even like, even with us having our son, I just had to learn this recently. It was like an epiphany, epiphany to me. We don't parent in the same ways. No. He didn't come from the same background that I came from. We came from two different worlds. So he's well, naturally we're going to parent differently. But we just have to come to the understanding and know that it is all going to be for the best for our son. He's not going to do anything that's going to not be good for our son. That's going to stray him in a different way. Anything. He wants the best for AJ just like I want the best for AJ. We sometimes have disagreements on how we feel like we should arrive there. But ultimately, it's what's best for AJ. And you just need a mom and a dad, not two parents who agree on every single thing who parent the exact same way. I mean, on general topics, of course, we have to be, like, in one accord. But some things, it's, it's really not life or death. It's not going to make or break him. So I just can't control, control or correct him on every single thing when it comes to parenting or even in real life, like... I'm one of those people, like, if you mispronounce something, I correct you. Me, I understand. Just let you go by your way. There you go. Right. And mm -hmm. it was horrible. I, I don't know. Like, one day, it just, like, went off a, like a light bulb in my head. I cannot correct him all the time. He is his own person. He has his own thoughts. And I can't be in control of that. And I can't correct him just because I feel like he's wrong or that he's not doing things a certain way I want them to be done. That doesn't mean that it's wrong. Why correct him? If it's still ultimately getting to the same thing that I wanted to, ha or that we want, not just I, that we wanted to happen, why correct him? Why? It makes absolutely no sense. And then, um, loving God more than we, and this is going to sound crazy to some people, but loving God more than we actually love each other will ultimately help us be closer to each other. Because the closer you get to God, He is going to help us love each other the way that He loves us. Hopefully you guys caught that. But He... I don't even know how to explain it. It's like it's like a triangle. The closer you get to... He's like on this end, I'm like on this end. The closer that we get to God the closer we get to each other because he is at the top of all of this. He's at the top of all of this. So when we're on track to meet him, eventually he and I collide. He and I collide. If you think about it as a triangle, like <laughs> this is going to be weird. Do your fingers like in a triangle. Okay. Anthony, me, God. When you move up on a triangle, eventually you collide. You collide. So the closer we get to God, um, the more time and work that we put into our relationships with God. Yes. <laughs> the more that we put, the more time and effort that we put into a relationship with Christ and loving uh, Christ. He, in return, helps us strengthen our foundation, help us become one, help us love each other the way he loves us. And that is a pure genuine kind of love like you, you there you can't find a purer love than the love that Christ has for us 
Show you right. Show I'm right. But, I mean, yeah, and it just, I mean, it helps us treat one another better. It helps us um, love selflessly and not think about ourselves. I mean, it's just a, it's a beautiful way to live. And you also, Christ will never steer you wrong. So as long as you're making him your main goal and your main focus, there's no way we can go wrong if we're on the path and the track to him. He's like, yeah, say that, babe, say that. <laughs> Okay, so y'all tell her. Oh, man. Y'all gotta excuse me, but mine was. He's so tired, guys. Can you guys see? His eyes are so red. I'm keeping him up past his bedtime. How to know when I'm wrong. Um, I say things that. There's a smoke alarm again. I'm sorry for cutting you off, but what are they doing over there? They're, they, our neighbors that's are burning the, down. That's probably the microwave. Nope, it's just a smoke alarm. Our neighbors are burning down their house. Y'all pray that we don't get sent ablaze. But, anyway. I say a lot of stuff that hurt people's feelings. And then sometimes I don't care. But I learn now that with her I can't say that type of stuff. And I gotta know when I'm in the wrong and correct myself. So That's one thing you gotta learn in a marriage. Two, how to say. Yes. If you don't budget, ding, ding, ding. everything will go down. Especially with me being a stay-at-home mom now, we are working on one income, people. So we have to do what's best with that money that we have coming yes. in. Especially having a little one, we have to save for his future, save for our futures. I mean, our future, because we're going to be together. Do the much savings you can. I mean, couponing, looking for more deals. I'm becoming the coupon queen, honey. Um... Even buying the generic brands on some stuff. I learned that recently because I was a, a label. I don't want to say that word, but y'all know where I was going with that. But I used to always, oh, can't get generic, cannot get generic. But nope, y'all, if it tastes the same and works the same, we're getting the generic. Yes. Looking for more discounts. I guess put it a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Points. If you got it, like... Pay less out here. Kroger. I think Kroger. it's Kroger nationally. But. Walmart. Try to go for late points or member, reward members. You yeah. Know what I mean? Oh, and a little, inter uh, little interjection. Sorry, babe. Especially because you can't leave, lose yourself. Just, okay, so we just had a new baby. He's about to be four months. You can't. We can't just completely lose ourselves in having a baby because we have to build our marriage so that we can even outlast raising a child. We still have to be husband and wife even after AJ is a grown man. So um, going on trips, vacations, even if it's just like a day date or a night date, um, we have to like make time. We have to make sure that that's in the budget. So you guys couponing, looking for deals, specials, um, days where servants have off. That is clutch, you guys. That is clutch because you can't, you, you always have to make time. You got to figure it out. There has to be planned somewhere in your budget because it has to happen for um, your marriage, just for the sake of your sin, you guys are saying it, it has to happen. Um, what else? Three, learn to make time oh, I, we, for your family. We just said that. What? Sorry, guys. No, I was agreeing. Oh, I thought you were disagreeing with me. No, baby, I was Well, agreeing. anyway, <laughs> learn to make time for your family. I mean, me, I have a lot of friends, so... If a friend called me and they be like, oh, let's go do this, let's go do this. If I haven't spent time with her or my son, I don't think that's a good idea to go. So I will be like, no, nah, man, maybe next time. And maybe next time I might go, maybe next time I won't go. So you just got to find time to spend with your family because that's a big one. That's a big, big, big. Agreed. Yeah. So um, what else? You got anything else? Um, Being romantic, oh, man. Like, yeah, yeah. You got to keep key. that spark in there. Like, without that, it won't be nothing. It I mean, will be absolutely nothing. You will walk around being roommates all day. Yeah. Or just feel like crazy. you just got somebody there. I mean, if you feel like you got somebody there, what's the point of getting married? I mean, you might as well just be single for the rest of your life. Because yeah. I thought I was going down that road, but look at me now. Look at him now. <laughs> look at him now. Yeah. Um, I completely agree. And 
he and god bless him y'all this man is a provider he's my friend he is all of the great characteristics but romantic is nothing never something that he had to be so now he's like learning, I'm learning to be I'm romantic it, so i didn't have to and be romantic so. no but he's you guys he's doing an awesome job learning and um that is something that has to happen so if you don't have to or if you don't and this is a problem for our women too for ladies too if you have a problem with being romantic or you don't know how just go to your spouse the you have to go to your spouse and you have to ask them um things that they would like um what makes them happy what is romantic to them what makes them feel special <coughs> all of that good kind of stuff that's a, also where communication goes into play because if you know you have a problem doing something or something isn't your strong suit, you can't shy away from it just because you know you're not good at it. You have to talk to your spouse. You have to communicate that. Otherwise, it's going to be some problems. Um, so, yeah, that's key. That's clutch. Also, you have to, and hopefully this is something that you guys established before you were married, but you have to have a friendship with your husband or if y'all are engaged or if you guys are in a relationship moving towards that friendship has to be key it has to be key because sometimes you're not going to feel like being romantic you're not going to feel like being all lovey-dovey you're not going to feel like that but the friendship and communication is what helps you yes, maintain yes, yes. and eventually moves you back into that lovey-dovey i'm going to be all over you now phase yeah so that stuff is clutch you guys it is clutch um and learn how to have fun man yeah. don't be all serious all the don't time don't be stuffy y'all don't be just you know and you actually serious. read my mind see we're, we're besties y'all because yeah. that was about to be I mean, my next don't point. always be serious learn how to be goofy i mean everybody be like oh they're so uptight in this like sometimes we we don't always be goofy but we goofy when we want to be i mean majority and we're actually and that was i don't know i was just so I'm naturally a goofy person, but for some reason that wasn't like shining through in my relationship. And I'm like, what is going on? I was just too serious about a lot of yeah, stuff. So I just had to let it go. I mean, of course, stick to your guns for the important stuff, but just let it go. Have fun. I think we're more of ourselves. I don't know. It's like you can't not be yourself he has to get aj but you can't not be yourself just because you get married like that's and that's complete insanity so you have to still be you still have to be yourself i had to maintain my same goofy self in my marriage that i was before we even got married so having fun being fun going to do fun stuff that's key you guys it is key oh my little cutie is awake he was sleeping guys there you go, E. Why? He's like, what's going on here? What are you guys doing? Making a video. Say hi. Say hi. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Oh, look at that. Look at that smile. Um, But I think that pretty much wraps it up. I did not intend for this video to be that long, but we got to talking and it stretched. So he's crazy um so this is us this is the very first video that we've ever done together yeah. and my little guy even made an appearance but um thank you guys for watching for tuning in um questions comments like share subscribe if y'all are new to the channel hey y'all welcome to our life this is life as we know it um and um sorry to cut you off to all those other people with the negative stuff you know keep it to yourself man nobody want to hear all that just move on Yes, as he so eloquently, sarcasm, <laughs> said, um, negativity, you guys, there's just no room for that. Let's just all be positive. There's no reason to be negative towards or about anything else. It's not even necessary. Let's send positive vibes, you guys, okay? But, um, yeah, so we are signing off. Thanks for tuning in, you guys, and I will see you guys next week.